Hey, what's up, guys? It's Super Isaiah here with my first tutorial video on uh, New Super Mario Bros. Wii texture swapping and stuff like that. Anyway, uh, I just requested this by someone else on YouTube who was replying to a comment and stuff. Anyway, uh, so you're gonna have to get this application called 3DS Max. Uh, it doesn't really matter what version you get. But you should just look it up, and it's Autodesk, look it up, and you should be able to go to a part where it says that you can get it for free for three years or something if you're a minor. So anyway, you just do that. I'm not going to make that part of the tutorial because that will take a lot longer. But anyway, uh, if you already have 3DS Max, or, well, you if you don't get it, and then that's where the story is starting. So, once you have your 3DS Max, I have 2015, so I don't know if it's different with the newer ones, but anyway, you, uh, you go to open, and you go to the 3DS Max thing in the corner, uh, open, or import, I don't really know if it makes much of a difference, and then I usually open the, uh, Whatchamacallit, uh, the one that the actual model I'm modding into the character, not the, the, not the character I'm changing first, so, uh, for instance, I'll just go with one I already did, but it's not done yet, I mean, like, I'll redo it, um, okay, here it is, I don't know if you can see this, If you can, then just, you don't, it doesn't really matter. There we go. So as you can see in a second. You have Daffy Duck right here. And so then what I'm going to do is put Daffy over Mario. Like I did before. So then, after you have this, you can't do open again, you have to do import. And then I find just one, I have just one folder that I put all my original ones in. And it has to, you have to extract it from Brawlbox into a, a day, DAE file, which is pretty simple, so I'm probably not going to show it. Just, you just go on Brawlbox, and, Brawl, Brawlbox, not Roblox. <laughs> you go on Brawlbox, and you... Go to the model zero file and you right click on it and you do uh, export and then export it as a day. And then you're going to have to import it again later and then export it again. Hey, I'll, show, I'll show that part because not many people know how to do that. Uh, but anyway, so you import your bones, which would be the original file. And then you're gonna have to get rid of uh, the actual thing so now that you have that you go here make it the size that would be correct I should go with that and then that and then that okay so now once you have that uh it's i prefer i don't know if it makes such a difference but i prefer to select both sides at once because i i think that it helps if they're even helps make it work so then you put the bones where they would normally go on the character so like if there's a bone that normally goes on Mario's shoulder, you put it on his shoulder. And then you rotate it to where you want it to be. Then, oh wait, actually, before I rotate it, I should make it longer. Okay. I found that it, you'd think it would be harder, but I found that with when you're modding Mario and Luigi and stuff, it's actually easier than modding Bowser, because his model's really confusing to mod. Anyway, so then once you have them, 
where they should go, and then the lakes go right there, squeeze them together a little bit, and then that and this. There we go. So then now it looks good, but I could bet that there's it's still not going to work correctly because it never just works perfectly the first time. So anyway, uh, but so then here's the part that some people don't get is that you have to go here, click on only this, go down to skin right here, and then add bones. So now you added the bones. So now you have the bones on him. Uh, we'll see really quick what it will look like. So it probably will never work the first time correctly. Holy crap, actually it did. Wow. Well, that was a lot easier than it was last time I did it. See, so that's that's pretty good. This is pretty darn good, especially for the first time. Uh, this is pretty especially for uh new Super Mario Bros. Wii because on that uh everything is a lot harder because the bones are all weird. As you can see, you probably notice when you look at the file that Mario's head is in a different different model. But when I mod him I just prefer to just make it so our head doesn't move around because it just makes it a ton easier for everyone. So it just might look a little bit worse, but it t it saves you so much time. So then, yeah, that looks good. Is it moving his tail at all? Wait, does he have a tail? Yeah, he it does. It's tiny, but he has one. So anyway, uh, now you've got that. Make sure everything's back in place. I don't really know if it makes a big difference, but I make sure everything's back in place. Arm. The arm works kind of bad when you fix that. But it's good enough for a test. Anyway, so then once you've, uh, oh right, if you want to change something, then just, I just do undo until there's no bones left in here. Then you add the bones again, and then you redo. I mean, you don't redo, but you, uh, add the bones again. Anyway, so, then there's that. So, what you're going to want to do next is go up to the 3D, 3DS Max on the corner again, click export. And then export it as a day file. And just name it whatever you want. And I'll just go and name it YT Duck. So, yeah, now that I've exported that as a day, I'll come back in a second with what you As you can next. see, I just opened Brawl Box. So, you're going to want to go. Uh, so, this is the original one with all the original stuff. So, this is what I meant by his head's a separate file. Anyway, so then if you're doing what I do and you just want to make it simple and get rid of that, then you can't delete the object, just delete the uh, node on the side. Delete all the nodes, so then that basically just makes his head hat invincible, invisible, not invincible, makes his hat invisible so that uh, you, whatever. All right. Anyway, so then you're just going to want to replace this one. So as you can see, there's that. So I don't want to delete that yet. So then what you're going to have to do is first you have to do this because somehow you can't import a model from a day. You have to import the model as something else first. So you can go down to the one you made. YT. Sorry about that. My thing just randomly cut. Anyway, so you're going to go down to YT Duck and uh, you don't have to do anything with that there. Just export and as a mo MDL0 file. So now you have your MDL0 file. Then you're going to want to go import texture. Grab your texture. It should be wherever you put the, wherever you downloaded from, usually they come with the texture. Uh, 
let's see, right there, 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 okay. So as you can see, I have my texture right here. So then really, what you're going to want to do is this, but, it, but I'll show you that in a second. Right now, I just want to import this. Really, that doesn't make a big difference. You don't have to do that yet. I prefer to do that because it makes it look nicer when it first comes on. So you're going to want to replace the base skeleton when you import it, and then um, make sure the skeleton's at the very skeleton root is the one that's at the top, and then you go OK. And then so it shouldn't show up automatically instantly, I mean. So then as you notice, they're about the same size. So you're going to want to delete this one now. And then you're gonna want to. Uh, I just rename so that this takes faster. But uh, you can just go delete and then rename this one to the same one. Matt player body. And then rename this to player body dot zero. So then now you'll get Mario's, but so you just replace, uh, you get rid of this one, and you just replace this one. I just put that in so it looks nice when it first comes in. You don't actually have to do that. Uh, we, okay, we, Daffy, okay, so anyway, then you're going to want to replace it, and then as you can see, the duck's like that. But then uh, you're gonna want you're gonna notice that when you do this one right here, right, when it switches the fire guy and stuff, it goes back to Mario's. So what you're gonna want to do there is you're gonna want to make it. Uh, you're gonna want to take the picture image for this one and. Uh, you're going to want to take the image file for this one and then recolor it with some art program or do whatever you want to do to make it be a fire guy and whatever. Anyway, so then, uh, okay, so what you're going to want to do is, uh, if you want to see what the animations are, you don't have to do this, but I mean, it's best if you want to see what the animations will look like. You need to go to a file in your, uh, if you have the scrubbed out, uh, whatchamacallit, the, uh, New Super Mario Bros. Wii game sc scrubbed out and you have all the files, go to your objects and there's one called P under dash Urcha, which you export, uh, the model, in, the BRRES file in it. And then uh, you're going to want to import that here. So as you can see, it doesn't actually look perfect the first time, like for anyone. And it's not working correctly, but not only this would show you the animations right now, it's just being weird. Probably because I'm doing that, but anyway, so then you can see what they all look like. With the animations, it's going really slow right now. Anyway, you'll see what it looks like, and if you think it's good, uh, then you should. Uh, again, you'll notice that this one will look really ugly. So you're going to want to make a smaller one too, but I'm not doing that right now. So anyway, you are going to want to save that as save the file, and then you are you should be good to go. Yeah, so if this doesn't answer all your questions, just leave a comment on the video, and I'll try to get back to you. So yeah, peace out.
Oh, yeah.